Hello, good afternoon. Just just a timer here, just to be sure. Yeah, um, probably the, the this this talk would be less entertaining. I really enjoyed the the, the first two. Uh, don't, don't run away. Uh, so I will present um, some uh, preliminary study on about exploring uh, OSM-based just patient data sets, specifically an Italian uh, use case, the Italian, the so-called Italian National Summary Database. And I'm presenting uh, also um, together with uh, Maurizio and Marco. They are, they are not here. So we all know that uh, there is an increasing release. Recently, in the last couple of years, especially of aggregated data sets that are using or are providing uh, information uh, on about OpenStreetMap um, with a different uh, percentages of uh, elements from OpenStreetMap. The good thing is that uh, usually they are preserving uh, OSM ODBL license, and they are at multiple scales uh, and they are focusing on different levels of different thematic. Uh, uh, information. Uh, we have here probably the, the biggest examples. We, we have uh, uh, over two maps. Um, it's, it's a global uh, database. Um, so far, they have released, let's say, five themes, um, but increasing in the future. Um, we have Microsoft Global ML building footprints. Uh, again, global, global, more or less, in the sense that uh, some areas are not covered. But the, the focus is global, and uh, they are dealing with buildings specifically. Another uh, building-related um, uh, data set is made by the, um, the German Research Center uh, for Geosciences, I think is, it's the name. Um, and then uh, going to uh, Europe, we have uh, Ubuco. It's a research-based product. Uh, again, focused on building. And another one, a digital building stock model. Um, who uh, that is trying at, again at the European level to um, put together different uh, elements, starting from OpenStreetMap buildings, adding Microsoft-based buildings and others to have a more uh, integrated um, uh, data set on, on buildings. And we have many others at national or regional scale. And I will talk specifically about the, an Italian case Again, recent, so it's in September 2022, the Italian Military Geographical Institute, it's one of the Italian governmental mapping agency, released this national database, it's called National Summer Database. You see DBSN, the, the previous one I showed is DBSM, <laughs> slight difference, but this one is from Italy. Um, and it's a, a database with a lot of information, so it's not only about building, um, so it's a vector database of geospatial information, uh, and um, the reason why they uh, have this database and they released that uh, this database is that they have to uh, um, create maps um, specifically at a smaller scale, one uh, to one hundred and fifty thousand scale, but the, um, the information it's at the medium scale of one twenty five thousand. And it summarizes the information from the right regional database mainly. Uh, but the issue is that even such a big um, uh, institution is not able anymore to uh, collect and update uh, a national database um, alone. So uh, in addition to regional official databases, they are trying also to integrate with OpenStreetMap information. And so they have released in three uh, bunches uh, the, the information starting from the south, then the center, and recently in the, in the middle of August, um, the, the north Italy. So now we have all the 20 or 19 regions plus the two autonomous uh, provinces. And, and then just a spot that uh, the northern border of Italy has not been released. I'm not sure about why. But uh, there are some gaps, and this is uh, also um, dealing with some holes in the, in, in the data we, we have, of course, and the statistics related to the data that I will show you later. So um, in the data set, uh, EGM um, 
kept track of the source information, of course, and there's a specific code and we have one for OSM based uh, information. Um, the, the, the most used information are coming again, I, I was saying that from the regional databases, uh, but we have that information and they, for that reason, and maybe also to try to increase the reuse of information, they have released the entire database with the ODBL license. Uh, and you have to agree when they load the, the, the data set uh, to, to that license. What we wanted to, to, to do is to have a, a view, a picture of um, what role actually played OpenStreetMap uh, in the production process of uh, this uh, national database, analyzing um, both models and doing a mapping uh, between uh, some of the elements of the two models and assessing the uh, OpenStreetMap contribution to the DBSN. Uh, and then uh, with a, a focus on uh, buildings and roads and, and, and railways to have a comparison between the, the distribution of elements and um, yeah, the overlapping or not overlapping information on those specific topics. So the DBS data model is based on a ministerial decree, so it's quite well documented. And uh, regions should use more or less the same type of model. So uh, at the national level, information is collected and in that way. It has a hierarchical structure with uh, 10 layers, let's say macro categories, and 30 teams at a lower level, and then 93 classes and uh, with all their attributes. And here um, in, in the table on the right, you see the, the layers and, and the themes. So you, you see the common uh, cartographic elements. You, you have uh, hydrography, orography, buildings, roads, but also some uh, geodetic information, uh, um, networks of facilities, uh, of course, uh, administrative areas and, and other uh, less usual uh, uh, geospatial information. Uh, so EGN, so the um, uh, Geospatial uh, Military Institute, they did their mapping. We tried to understand uh, um, afterwards, you know, after the release, how they, they did it. And so there are, as usual, some themes and in the database, they are easily mapped in the OpenStreetMap, or more or less easily. Roads, we have highways. Uh, railways, we have railways. Uh, buildings, we have buildings. Um, but uh, some of them do not match, or because they are not in the OpenStreetMap scope. For example, the, the elevation uh, is not there. Um, or they are more complex to be mapped. We know the complexity of OpenStreetMap models, so uh, they also knew that prob probably, and so the, the, the mapping is not perfect. The workflow analysis is documented uh, in, a, in a GitHub page um, repository, and so we downloaded the, the, the source, both sources, uh, we did some enrichment and uh, uh, an aggregation by provinces and, and regions and then uh, a comparison, uh, a spatial comparison. I have to say that we, we didn't focus really on trying to be perfect in this comparison. We wanted to have a, a broad view of uh, specifically the intersection. So we highlighted elements that are clearly not present in either the, the, the databases. So just a quick view without entering in the details. So the, the, um, here we have a, a table with, um, the regions, we don't have Sardinia for various reasons, but okay, it's, it's, not, uh, it's not there. And the, the layers, so the, the highest level of um, um, hierarchy in the DBSN. And uh, we have the percentage of OSM derived uh, features included in the DBSN, uh, given the code we, uh, we have in, in the model. So we see that um, some of the layers um, are not present, so the DBSN haven't used any information from OpenStreetMap for uh, this column where we don't have any uh, or almost any uh, uh, number. Uh, but from others, they have uh, quite uh, some percentage from 10, 20 still, till almost the 100%. So for 
the roads in some region or for example underground utility networks almost all the elements in the national database are derived from OpenStreetMap. It's quite um, interesting. If you look at the lower level of a um, hierarchy in the data model, we, we see the same more or less patterns with maybe more, again, um, variability in the, in the correspondence between OSM-based uh, information and uh, the inclusion in the DBSM. What we can see from this, uh, okay, we have a highly variable contribution of OSM as a source of information that can depend both from the OSM availability of that data in that region and how the region, the official information in the region was rich in that information. So it's not only one side. Um, for the layers, uh, half of the categories uh, have almost no contribution from OSM. And uh, regarding the lower level of category, more or less half of the themes do not include any object derived from OSM. Uh, uh, be aware that the percentages, so the 100% or 50%, depends in this case on the total number of objects. So a high percentage that does not necessarily correspond to many objects. Uh, so a, a lot of objects because in some cases, even in the national database, there are maybe, for one region, 100 elements, and all of them are coming from OpenStreetMap, but the information is not well covered at the national level. So um, this is the, uh, a focus on the building. So we focused on the, on the building data sets. Again, we have the percentage, the ratio between the total area of buildings in OSM and in the DBSN, so that's the percentage how far the OpenStreetMap is from the official uh, data set. We, set. we see a lot of uh, spatial differences. Uh, it's an indirect measure of completeness for OpenStreetMap, let's say, if we, if we consider the national uh, official uh, database for the buildings uh, as, a, as the truth. And uh, the variability can depend on attractiveness of the region or of the area, the presence or the absence of local OSM communities. And specifically in Italy, at least uh, uh, from imports, some of the regions, for example, uh, Veneto or Puglia ha have had uh, imports in the past from the regional cartography. So they are in a good position, a good completeness position. Um, this is the same information in a, in, a, in a table form, just to say that we have the regions and uh, this percentage is the um, is what we saw before in, in the map. So there are there is a high variability, and there are some gray lines here to say on the northern part of Italy, some of th those numbers are not real because something is missing in the national database. So OpenStreetMap is uh, three hundred three times has three times of the coverage than the official um, data set. And here we calculated how many, uh, so which percentage of the OpenStreetMap building area, so calculating the area, is not covered in the uh, DBSN. So there are buildings that are not in the official uh, uh, database released recently. Possible reasons are in, in favor, let's say, of OSM that uh, OpenStreetMap is really quick in updating information, while official cartography is not. So we have more recent buildings in the map than uh, the official cartography. Um, and uh, also the mapping uh, of the data models could not really maybe well aligned between them. So they couldn't have maybe catched some information, some tagging that it's anyway representing some, some buildings. Against, uh, so we have, uh, we, we saw some demolished buildings still in OpenStreetMap, but not really there anymore. So there are some errors in OpenStreetMap, we know also that. Um, and this uh, uh, also um, imperfect overlap, spatial overlap that we used to match the two information. This is a slide, a quick slide to show um, a comparison on the uh, uh, road length and the railway length on the data sets, uh, we haven't completed for the whole Italy. 
but just to say again that also for this, we have a, a great variability between region, and I didn't told before, but from this map uh, and the data, is not only about regions, but in the same regions, also the provinces have has a um, high variability. So really, it's a local issue uh, that has to be tackled if we want to use that, that information or en enrich up the street map. Without uh, losing too much time, so one thing we wanted to stress and understand if it's true is that um, official cartography now, uh, even more than before, needs also crowdsourced data to close some gaps that they have. Um, especially in the, some baseline data layers, but also probably in, also in some more detailed information that we haven't checked. Uh, OpenStreetMap could be a reference source, but it's not yet ready everywhere, at least. So uh, we haven't looked at building and, and, and roads, but uh, even in Italy, Italy is, has quite a good community and a history in OpenStreetMap, but there are some huge gaps also for relevant information like buildings and roads. Uh, interesting case in terms of data reuse licensing because they have used uh, DBSL or DBL. Uh, we will talk in the last slide about this. And so I think it, there's the need to extend the analysis at the lower administrative level, maybe also in the, uh, under the provinces, though in the local administrations, to see possible geographical trends or influence of a local community also in the detailed mapping. We know it's like this usually. Um, to have this analysis also for specific layers and themes that might be interesting for specific communities or a type of a reuse. Um, and understand the correlation between, so how much the OSM quality have influenced, has influenced the inclusion of information in the national database. So it hasn't been included because it's not a good quality or just because they hasn't been considered. And uh, we wanted to, tr to assess the potential to use the BSN as a source for imports uh, or data updates in uh, OpenStreetMap. And I will end the presentation with this issue that we, 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 we found. So DBSN and OSM use the, the same license, the ODBL, and that's a really good thing. And it's not common in Italy. Uh, usually um, the, the standard license for a, a national information is a CC BY, that's good, but we need a waiver to include information on the street map from an explicit consent. So we thought that ODBL was perfect, but so we, we, we haven't considered the, the contributing terms. They are saying that uh, when uploading information on the street map, we say that we are aware that that license could change in the future. So the uh, institution releasing the data in DBL should be aware that providing this right to, for the import could change the license. And that's the thing that, okay, maybe you can agree on uh, in some cases with the National Cartographic Institute who is using data from regions, it's a big issue for, uh, for us to try to convince them also in, in this other step because they already did a, a big step releasing information with ODBL, but they are the, the ones who have the right to do that. So there are some limits in, uh, in, in, in the importing. We are trying to think about that. Uh, Question, so the, the agreement of uh, OpenStreetMap Foundation that the contributing terms was created to guarantee the centralized management. We know that we need some management at central level, but maybe we have to think how we should try to change something to encourage uh, the permission and reuse for, uh, for public, public bodies to have that contribution back for them. In, in this case, we are still struggling to to how involve them fully in releasing and contributing and having back information. Um, probably the, the, the right thing so far is to have tools that help people to see the gaps and map in those areas. But when you have maybe a region without 95% of buildings, it, sh it should be better to import them and then to close the gaps. So that's an open question. Um, we have published a short paper with the initial um, information for that. And thank you for your attention.
Thank you, Alessandro. Are there any questions from the audience? Well, perhaps I can start with one question. Um, you mentioned at the start that uh, the data you had from the military government agency, that there are multiple government agencies working in Italy with uh, on mapping. Are they cooperating as they should be, or is there, they're, they're working with the same database at least, right? Yeah, I would say that uh, regions are uh, cartographic agencies in the sense that they are collecting the official information uh, the, 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 um, the products, the national products that EGM creates are based now mainly on uh, national, uh, regional contributions. So they are cooperating. In this case, I think, uh, I'm not sure, but EGM did a strong push towards this integration and towards this license. I don't know whether the regions were all of them aware and they agreed or not, but we are there. So we, we tried to to use this information uh, the, the best way we can. So we have this final issue about the contributing terms that keep us prudent in, in, in uh, importing everything. Any other questions? Or perhaps from the chat, yeah, there's one gentleman. Not from the chat. Thanks for the talk. Uh, how did you compute this data? Like not matching exactly how much data is from, is there like a set of tools? Did you have to develop any of that? I'm curious about that. As I was mentioning, it's a really a simple uh, spatial overlapping for the buildings. Uh, we tried that the simple way. So if the buildings uh, um, footprint in the, in the DBSN, the national database, were disjoint, especially talking from the OpenStreetMap, they were not there so that that's that's the simple thing so we we could have missed something or misinterpreted a few things but the, the big numbers are there so uh, and looking at the details in uh, more specific areas you, you see them there are buildings there are not in OpenStreetMap but for entire provinces and there are some buildings that are new in OpenStreetMap and given that the regional cartography maybe it's a few years older uh, it, it, it's true, the, the small numbers maybe are incorrect for that reason. We, we didn't spend much time in modeling the way to, 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 to match, to conflate the, the, the two data sets. Okay, but is there like an off-the-shelf tool to do this or did you have to develop something yourself or make a query okay. on the database? Yeah, the, 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 I didn't develop the, the, the code, but it's, uh, I think it's based on um, Python code that is available there. It's nothing complicated. I think. If you do it in a QGIS or ArcGIS with an intersect uh, standard tool, you, you found more or less the same uh, the same tool information. Thanks very much indeed for your talk. Um, I'm from the UK, and I was sort of doing a comparison in my head as you went there. Um, I suppose my question is if you mentioned that quite a lot of the data starts with the regions and then there's a supplement with, in a sense, with OSM on top, what do your results maybe tell you about the activity of OSM mapping community across Italy, if anything, do you think? Are there some insights that you can draw from what you've done? Yeah, that there's something. Uh, as I said, for, for the building specifically, the big imports at the regional level, uh, drove the, the what we have in OpenStreetMap. But uh, if you look at specific uh, local areas where we know that uh, the, the community is quite active, we have some in the, the uh, Piedmont areas, uh, you see the patterns that buildings, for example, uh, are more updated uh, there. I think something is not um, capped in this comparison because some of the detailed mapping we have in OpenStreetMap, I know, for example, sidewalks or uh, specific traffic signs are things that are not included in the national database because they, they want to have maps at a more uh, high level. No, the scale is different. So I think the community thing, uh, the community patterns should, could be more related to a different type of tagging or uh, elements mapped than the buildings and, and the roads. But still, you can see them uh, because where you don't have imports, you, you have really 
uh, fewer percentage of coverage. Thank you, thanks. Okay, if there's questions? no other questions, thank you, Alessandro. And thank you.